It's a day at the beach, but it certainly will not be easy for the 43 men vying for the title of the fittest on earth. These girls are great in the pool, but I talked to them and they said, I hate not being able to see my feet. I hate not knowing what's underneath me. That fear can really get to you, and you can't afford to have that when you have already the nerves of being here at the games. Guess what? They have a whole bunch of sand in their face, and that's a big negative. strong you can see they're knocking the goggles off they just have to be smart to get themselves in past those breaking points this is going to do damage and a ton of cliff out of the water and smooth sailing for the former olympian towards the finish line now Troyon will take the beach 100 points for jordan Troyon. Welcome inside the tennis stadium at the Stub Up Center in Carson, California for the second event. Now it's just simple, lift big. We're gonna have a serious chess match going on here. And just ah. can't hold it. Are you not entertained? push this lighter sled on this sprint. It's going to be incredible. 300 double unders and a three mile run. Parker and Van Druyen will be the only ones not able to complete within the three minutes time cap. Rich Froning starting to walk. Rob Forte gets across the finish line. He led from the start. Maddox is ripping into that sled and leaving the field in his way. Cunnicliffe is crammed, and that leaves Christian Holt the eyeball by herself. Hackenbrook across the finish line first, and it will be Tommy Hackenbrook just ahead of Jason Kalipa. Carl Webb will take the final heat of sprint sled one. The triple threes are in the books, and they wreak havoc on the field. It's all about being smart. I think 155 pounds for these guys is not very heavy at all, but it's the way that it's being worked here. It's a race to the finish, and we're going to have to go to the chip. Will she who got across the finish line in time? It's Thoris Dunn. It's going to be Josh Bridges. Ah. Rich Froning is the first man onto the finals, and the champ is back. Rich Froning demolishing the time to beat. You have to have technique. You have to be solid. This event tests it all. Here.
as is Dan Bailey. Southeast is opening up a lead here on this first carry. And Nate Schrader apparently with the better idea because he is in the lead. Set in stone as we head into the final day of competition. He's insanely good at handstand walks. A fourth straight CrossFit Games title within reach. Matt Fraser, the rookie, who is trying to play the role of spoiler. I actually have no idea what it's going to look like. He's never been pushed like this Stand all by. the way up to the end. Final heat of Thick and Quick underway. And Annie Thor's daughter will not go quietly. Rich Froding is firing up this crowd. And he is one step closer to his fourth CrossFit Championship. Bazinet just getting no rep. This could be disastrous, Sean. That'll do it for the two time champ. 10 reps between Rich Froney and the fourth straight championship. LeBlanc Bazinet with one rep to go. And she is the fittest woman on earth. Three. 